So I'm going to go for number one because I actually have a lot of people that in my life that do not understand um, feminism or gender studies. They don't care to either. And when I say they don't care to, it's not like they're opposed or anything of that nature. It's just like it's not their problem to them. They don't care. Um, they, it's never affected their lives. And this is like men and women. They, they, it's never affected their lives, so why should they bother? I guess. Um, and so I've had a lot of, you know, uh, discussions with these types of people. Um all the time actually because like I've um I guess gone on creative endeavors that have illuminated some of these uh concepts or issues and like they're just kinda like, What are you doing? Like what what what's going on here? And if I try to explain it, they don't um they don't really listen and it's not like they're um kind of flipping the bird at the idea it's just like they don't hear it um and so i've you know i take it upon myself to like kind of maybe figure out how to make them hear it maybe it, as an artist if because obviously like my words and discussions doesn't work um but one thing for sure that i know that i can do and i think that everyone can do when it comes to these people is like you have to have overwhelming patience because the moment that you lose any sort of patience with people in this discussion, like you are muted in their head. Like they think that you're just trying to um, degrade them because their intellect isn't on yours. That's like in, in what I've experienced, they just, they feel like that you have some kind of a personal vendetta and bringing this argument up and it is to like demean them like intellectually and so that's why I feel like it's very important to just be patient um, and kind you, know, you gotta be kind and like loving because who the hell wants to listen to somebody that's not that's the opposite of that and wouldn't you like have a way better shot of maybe like getting them to actually like open up to the ideas or like un to at least understanding like what it's all about if you know you are if you're loving towards them um one thing that i've experienced that happens when i uh if i ever like bring it up is they think that the reason I'm bringing it up is because something's wrong with them. And it's like, why are you telling me this? Because, like, they're, like, thinking that there's some subtextual reason that, like, I'm bringing this up because something's wrong with you and you're oppressive and you need to fix it, which is, I mean, I've never, like, ran into that case. Because, honestly, like, if there is somebody that I'm around that I feel is ignorant, I'm not going to bring this up to them because, like, what am I going to do? Like, why would I waste my time, like, talking with that? Like, I got better things to do, I guess. But, yeah, it, I mean, just, it, I'm tr trying to figure out how to um, have those conversations without coming across as, like, you know, you need to change. Um Cause it, I mean, cause this stuff's important because I mean, it's happening and we're not, and it's nothing ever going to happen if people will remain ignorant to it. Um, 
I feel like a large part, I guess I can kind of answer number three too, because like a large part of why I have so such a high exposure to a lot of these people is kind of the way that I was um brought up. Like my gender was established from the drop of the hat and so was everybody else's around me. Like, I mean, I was a boy. I, did, I mean, I didn't even, I mean, obviously, to the point where I didn't even really think about it. I was a boy, dressed a certain way, those are girls, they dress that way, they do that, you do this, like, I never thought anything of it. I mean, I loved my childhood, I loved every second of it, but um, I guess the absent-minded, or not, well, I mean, it just wasn't in the realm of thought with anybody that I grew up with or I don't know anybody who considered such things. And so those people are still there and, you know, if people weren't, um, uh, if people weren't patient with me, I don't think I would have the understanding that I do now I mean because like I've learned tenfold since this class began I guess um and so thank god people are have been patient with the way I think because otherwise I'd still be where I was at the beginning of the semester and I'm you know my mind's expanded a lot in understanding these concepts so you know, patience and loving. Maybe that's too, I don't know. I feel like that's, maybe that's um, too easy of an answer, but I really believe it. I mean, because otherwise the conversation is never going to happen. Because those people, those people are human beings too. Just like the people that are, you know, being negative affected by, negatively affected by, you know, the oppression that stems from the ignorance that they have, you know, so yeah.